In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn a Google Sites into a mobile app. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Let's start by going into our Google Drive and creating that Google Site. So click on New, More, and then Google Sites. Now, the Google Site that we're going to create is going to be a very simple Google Sites where I'm going to demo some of the features that Google Sites has available to us. So let's just give it a quick title. And we're going to call this My Site as an App. Now I'm going to change this format into a heading and I'm going to change the image. Now I'm going to upload my very own image, which I have found on Gratisography, which is a great website where you can find royalty free images. Now, this is now uploading the image. And there we go. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to add in a second part where I'm going to add a bit of text. Welcome to this website demonstrating how you can turn the new Google Sites into a mobile app. There we go. We're going to simply align this into center. Now we're going to add another image in here. So I'm going to go to upload, find the image I would like to insert. There we go. Again, we're going to stick to a rock music styled theme. It is now uploading this image. Now below these two sections, I would like to have a third section. And in this third section, I'd like to have a YouTube video. So I'm going to go to embed from the web, simply paste my YouTube URL and it is going to pull in the video. Now, alternatively, I could select Google Embeds YouTube and search for the video manually. Now I'm going to just enlarge this slightly, bring it to the middle. There we go. So we now have a very simple, basic website, one pager. Let's have a look at the preview. My site as an app, I can scroll down have a video and when I click on play, this video plays in my website. Now, I would like to have this website as a mobile app. So I want to display this on a mobile app, on a mobile device. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is make sure that your website is published. So go ahead and click on publish. We're going to give this a web address. Now I'm going to call this a website website for app and this gives us the complete URL of this website. Now who can visit my site? I'm going to manage that as well because I want it public on the web. So we're going to change that here. We're going to say anyone can find and view the published website. Save. There we go. And we are going to click on done. Now, when I click on publish, this is now publishing my website and creating a URL that's specific for this website. Now let's click on the view and here we go. This is the specific URL that this website links to. So if I open up a new incognito window, I can type in that URL and I will be brought to my public published website. Here you go. My site as an app scroll down and here we have the embedded YouTube video. Now for you to turn this into a mobile app, we are going to use Thunkable. Now, if you've remembered from my previous video, Thunkable is a very easy to use app creator that allows you to create an app and code it by using blocks similar to the way Scratch works. So go ahead and go to thunkable.com. Now again, links to all these websites will be in the description below. Now I'm going to click on sign in. I am going to create an Android app so I can demonstrate this on my own personal device. Here we go. Now I'm going to create a new app just like we did last time. And I'm going to call this app my Google site. Now, the reason I call it my Google Sites is because I'm highlighting and demonstrating to you how to embed and use a Google Sites as a mobile app. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that this title here at the top where it says screen one, that this is actually titled the correct title. So we're going to turn this screen one title into my 
Google Sites. There we go. Now again, this could be anything you want it to be. I want the title bar color to match the site I'm going to embed. So I'm going to go with red. There we go. Now this immediately shows me the preview of this app. I am also going to make sure that with the sizing, I have a responsive design, which means that when my website gets gets pulled in, my application is going to be responsive and automatically adjusts sizes. So once you've done these steps, then it's very easy for you to move on to the next step. Now down the side on the user interface, when you scroll down, you will find a web viewer. Simply drag this element onto your application and put it where it belongs in the middle. Now, once you've done all this, what's very important is that you are going to go to the properties and that you paste that Google Sites home URL into this box. So let's go ahead and open up our Google Sites. Let's copy the URL, return to Thunkable and paste it into our home URL box. There we go. We now have our website embedded into our Google Sites. Now, in addition to this, I would like to add an extra button down the side. So I'm going to add a button underneath this. And this button is going to have the text go to Eduflip, which is my blog. There we go. Now, obviously, the width of this will have to be a fill parent width. There we go. And so what's going to happen? Our users are going to open up the application they are going to see the web viewer. The web viewer is set to our predefined Google sites. And when they click on this button, the website will change to my blog. So let's adjust this button to have a similar background color. So we're going to go again with red and we are going to make the text and font typeface Roboto and bold. There we go. So this is what my application will look like. Now go ahead and go into the blocks section. Now the blocks is where we can code our website. Now we are going to click on the button. And when button one is clicked, we are going to call web viewer one to go to the following URL. And then we're going to simply put the URL into a box. There we go. And we paste our Eduflip URL. So now whenever the button is clicked, the web viewer will change. So let's go ahead and test this application. Let's click on test Thunkable Live. Now this gives me my QR code again. So what I can do now is I open up the Thunkable app on my mobile device. So let's go ahead and open up the Thunkable app. We are going to scan a QR code, which is the QR code displayed on my computer. There we go. It is going to open up the application. As you, as you can see at the top, we have my Google site. This is all functioning as an independent app. We can scroll down. It looks like a beautiful Google sites. I can watch the video within my application, pause this video, and I can also tap the button down below, which says go to edgeflip.net. When I tap that button, here I am on my blog and that's all there is to it. Now, if you're happy with your application and you liked what you saw, then simply click on export and get your APK file. Now, Thunkable is going to compile your file. It's going to build it, build the actual app. And once finished, it's going to give you that APK file that you can then either share with friends and family, install it on the devices, or you can submit to the Play Store for approval. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, I have my APK file and I can now submit it. I hope you found this helpful. I would love to know what you are going to use this function for. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what else you would like me to do using Thunkable or any of these other applications. And I will make sure that I find time to create a video doing just that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you are notified of all my future videos. For now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.